Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at four new sets. It's four new boarding patrols for Warhammer 40k. It's been really busy the last couple of weeks with all these new releases, and today an article's just gone up on the Warhammer community site showing off four brand new boarding patrols, and we're starting to cover lots of the factions now, so this is really great if you're interested in picking up a new boarding patrol for a different army maybe, or looking for a good way to get some extra units for an existing one. I'm really interested to have a look at what they've included in here, which units they've chosen. So during the video, we'll break down the box set, have a look at all the different models that are included in each one for the Adeptus Mechanicus, Chaos Demons, Gene Stealer Cults, and the Death Guard. Last week we saw the Necrons, Tyranids and Grey Knights, I did a video for that and then I also did a separate video breaking down the points and prices for each one and I'll be doing exactly the same for these four over the next few days. Let's get started then and have a look at the Adeptus Mechanicus first. Here you can see all the models included. So it looks like this army is going to give you quite a few models altogether. Looks like you're going to get 19 different ones. You're going to get 10 Skitari, which you can build as Rangers or Vanguard. You've got three Cataphrons, which can be built as Destroyers or Breachers. Five Sicarians, which can be Rust Stalkers or Infiltrators. And one Tech Priest Dominus. If you saw my breakdown of the Christmas battle boxes, you'll know I'm not a fan of these Cataphrons. It's a shame they put more of those in this box set. I don't like those at all. You might though, so if that's the case, this is going to be really good for you. Uh, the Skitari though, that's pretty cool. I do like the Sicarians. I think they look interesting. I haven't played against them though, so not quite sure if they're a good add to this box set or not. So if you play these and you've got some experience with the Adeptus Mechanicus, let us know in the comments section below what you think about the selection they've put together here. It looks like it could be pretty good to get started with, not just for the boarding actions, but again for regular games of 40k. This could be a good one to combine with the combat patrol perhaps, but I'll have a look at that in much more detail when I break down the price and point value in the next videos. If you like variety though and having lots of options about how you build your models, I think you're going to be happy with this box. Every unit it looks like you can put together in different ways. The Tech Priest Dominus though, he's going to be just one model, but it does say he comes with a variety of arcane war gear options as well. So I think you've got lots of different things you could give him and build him in different ways too. So all up, I think this would be a nice one if you want that flexibility. Before we take a look at the second board in actions box for the Chaos Demons, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me keep going with these daily videos. That support is awesome, I really appreciate it, and thank you so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon and be part of the community, then the link's down below where you can find out more. We're on a mission to get to 100 Patreons at the moment, that's our goal, and when we do, there'll be some extra perks and narrative battle reports as well. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, it'd be awesome to see you on the Patreon. The second box set is for the Chaos Demons, and this one's nice and simple. You're going to get 10 Blood Letters, 10 Flesh Hounds, and then one Karanak, the Hound of Vengeance, which I think is a great name. This is also very good if you like playing Age of Sigma, because I believe you can use all of these in that too. And for Warcry, this would be great. Get those Blood Letters, get some Hounds. They'd be awesome to use as like beasts, chaotic beasts, that kind of thing. And this is definitely going to be really good value. You're going to get lots of playability out of it if you do play two games, Age of Sigma, 40k, and then get in those skirmish games in as well. And this box set is also a nice contrast against the Adeptus Mechanicus with loads of options. If you want something a little bit more simple, then the Chaos Demons could be the way to go. The third box set is for the Gene Stealer Cults. This one looks quite interesting. You're going to get a total of 17 models altogether, including 10 Acolyte Hybrids, which you can also build as hybrid metamorphs. You've got one Abominant and Mindworm. They're going to come on the same base. You can see in the middle to the right there of the picture. Then you've got five Aberrants and one Kelomorph. I love that Kelomorph model, looks really cool with all the arms and pistols going on, great model. That's the sort of thing I would get and try and build a small army around. So this is actually quite appealing to me. I really like the look of this. And I might even go as far as saying this is my favorite out of all the boarding actions we've seen so far. Some really cool models and those aberrants can be pretty tough. I love that one of them's got hold of a sign, just literally ripped it out the ground and he's gonna smack someone with it. Really funny. And I like that sneaky Kelomorph included in there too. 
But I'm not sure if this is a good list for board in action. So again, if you play them, let me know what you think in the comments section below. It'd be really interesting to hear what you think. And finally, the fourth box is going to be for the Death Guard. This is going to give you 14 models all together. You're going to get 10 Plague Marines, 3 Death Shroud Terminators, and 1 Lord of Virulence. It's great to see that they haven't put any Pox Walkers in this, so that's going to be nice. And I like the selection here. I think these would be pretty tough by the looks of them. Having those 10 Plague Marines, that's great. The 3 Death Shroud Terminators look really huge actually compared to the other models and I really like the look of the Lord of Virulence. His mask especially really stands out. So I think this is quite a nicely put together little list. This could be good fun to play. It's definitely going to be slow to play but I think if they can just hold out and resist as they move forward then they're going to be really tough to take on but getting to those objectives might be an issue. As far as the models go, a nice selection. This could be one for existing Arby's maybe who want to just grow the points a little bit but for new players, do you think they'd want pox walkers in there? Is that necessary? I kind of feel like it would be, but there we are. I mean, you've got the combat patrol to choose from as well if you wanted to start. But combining these two, that might be an interesting way ahead as well. One thing they do mention in the article is that out of the 10 plague marines, they're quite versatile. Again, lots of weapon options, but three of them are going to be taken from what they call the much sought after plague marine reinforcement sets. Is it much sought after? I don't know if it is, but anyway, there we go. So as long as you've got lots of weapon options, that's the main thing. There we go, that's the four new boarded patrol sets, and I wonder if this is going to be a weekly thing until all the factions are covered. That'd be pretty fun, so hopefully we'll see more of these in the future. But I'll be breaking down each of these box sets now over the next few days, go through the points and the prices, so you'll know exactly how much value you'll get from each box, and then you can look at whether this is something you want just for boarding actions, or maybe even to play kill team with, or perhaps even to go into bigger games of 40k. If you're not familiar with how the boarding actions works, you have to muster a 500 point army and these are the boarding patrol detachment rules here. You have to only choose from HQ troops and elites unless the rules specify you can take from some of the other sections. Sometimes you're allowed to take fast units but you're limited to one normally and that will depend on your army. So I've done a video covering an introduction to that which I'll link to at the end of the video but basically the, the core is you would pick a HQ unit or no HQ units, zero to three troops, zero to three elites. And that's it, you can't go over that. For me personally, it's a little bit too limiting. And I also wanna see Dreadnoughts in my Space Hulk. I think they should be in there. There's plenty of room for them. They definitely fit, the old ones especially. And that would be really cool if they do allow that later on, but we'll just have to wait and see. But if you'd like to check that video out, it's linked at the end of this one. You can also find boarding patrol videos for the Space Marines and also for the Chaos Space Marines, so they're available too. That's it for now though, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it gave you a good idea about what you can expect from these four sets now. And thanks for watching, if you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll look forward to seeing you here for the next video on Tabletop Skirmish Games.